Hello and welcome to Color Chats with Moira and today I will soon be introducing to our guest which is the fabulous Amy Bell. So um, I'm going to just make sure that I've got you live and that we are up and running here on my iPad on the side making sure that this technology all works. There we go, it's showing live, yay! <laughs> okay that's fantastic, so now I can check your comments. Well if I press the right button, I think I pressed the wrong one there. So give me a minute to, hey, I've no idea how to get out of this now. Where is my Michael when I need him? There we go. Bear with me, guys. Me and technology on my own. You know how this is. All right here. Yeah. Well, if somebody says hello, then I'll know if this works or not and whether I can get your comments on the screen or not. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's have a look. Three people viewing. Can somebody put something in a comments box? I can see if you are actually. Hmm. Yeah, for some reason, it's doing a very weird thing today. It's Mercury. We're going to talk about Mercury. And of course, that's a, uh, when it goes in, not that it's retrograde now, but when it does go into retrograde, it always gives us. Okay, here we go. Found you here. Yeah, Moira, Andrews, Deborah, Aurelia. Hey, you guys are here. <laughs> okay like i said me and technology right okay fabulous i can now see so what i've got going here just to show you is i've got the um, ipad going here and then in very faint letters do the <laughs> do your um, comments come up so i have to kind of keep a really busy zoomy eye on this right here and there it's gone again okay i'm going to just leave that for now so i can get on with today's chat it's it's we're talking about shadows today too so clearly shadows are out and and i was supposed to be live yesterday so you understand shadows have been around <laughs> since yesterday um, um interfering with my work and my 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 commitment to turn up with you um and do a color chat so we are today in episode five already so we've had quite a few color chats so that's absolutely amazing and I want to thank you so much for all your support with that. And um, for you guys, you know what's up next. We've got to do a, uh, a pick of the week. So let's have a look if we can get camera working. It was working earlier. There we go. And I want you to pick an essence bottle today. So feel if you are drawn to number one, number two, or number three. And then what I really would love you to do is to pop that into the comments feed and uh, let me know what it is you've picked. And then Amy and I, at the end of the show, will give you a little reading for the week and why you chose that bottles. They're actually quite interesting this week. They're nice ones. I think you're gonna love them. It doesn't matter if you choose one, two or three, all three of them are lovely this week. They're some of my favorite bottles. So feel if you want one, two or three and pop it in the comments box. But also my darlings, if I could ask you, you know, very kindly to share as we are live, share it on your timeline, share it to friends, share it to other groups, wherever you can. And let's see if we can invite people beyond the color chess group to join us and learn a little bit about the work we all do and all the love we have for color. <laughs> okay, so I think let's see if Amy is ready. Oh, Aurelia says number one is calling her today. Nice. Deborah says number three and three. Oh, it seems like one and three. Now I'm picking two. Oh, hang on. Where Andrews just said she's picked two. Excellent. So now we know. <laughs> okay, there's our Amy. Welcome, darling. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Nice. I'm so glad you came on. And um, you and I've had quite a few chats and interviews um, with each other and with other people. So this is kind of this is kind of like you know a chat over a cup of tea kind of thing. It is, and I forgot the tea. <laughs> I, 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 was, I got all the color bottles. I've got bottles. I've got, you know, books and magazines and everything. I forgot the tea. <laughs> well, hopefully you don't get too thirsty, girl. If you do, I don't mind if you pop off screen and get something. <laughs> Good. I'm it's a very camel. casual. Yeah. So yes, we were supposed to go live yesterday, and then um, I, I had I had to take Paul to go see a see a doctor, and it was just it just is you know during the time we're in when you get an appointment, somebody wants to see you take it right. So we had to postpone it, and I made a comment to you, and I said, aren't, aren't we lucky we run our own businesses? We can set our own schedules. We don't we don't want to do it the one day. We can do it the next day. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how that has changed. You know, we used to live by schedules, and now it's like well. You know, let's just do it tomorrow. We'll be okay. 
Although I did see Anne, we were Anne's entertainment yesterday, and she was a little disappointed that we didn't come on. So now we'll just entertain you today, Anne. There you go. But I do think that that's one of the things that have come out of this this shift, this 2020, 21, um, you know, shift into the age of Aquarius, where, you know, the whole thing of, of trying to control our lives minute by minute and, you know, and force ourselves to do things when, you know, when it isn't in alignment with the energy of the moment or the needs of the moment. Yeah. I think, um, yeah. And, and and again, you know, family is more important than work to me. So, you know, it, it's just, it was a, it was a moment for me to prioritize my family and say to my work, you're not going to go away. You'll be there tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Have you found your schedule has shifted like that, that you're, you're looser about things? I've always been loose and flowy with things. <laughs> I think now it's just made what, how I am, you know, acceptable to people because it used to get upset if I was be like, oh, you know, we could do it tomorrow or let's do it right now. And, and they'd be like, but I haven't prepared or I haven't done this. I'm like, who cares? Let's just have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Actually, Jennifer Love taught me that, um, the brilliance of going with the flow. Her and I had done, um, we had done some work together and we did a big, huge, um, uh, what do you call it? Event. There was like six of us hosting the event and Jen and I were doing ours together on content and design. And she left all of the notes that we did at home. And oh, so wow. I was like, oh, oh my God, what are we going to do? I can't believe I left you in charge of the notes. Holy shit. So anyway, she's like, listen, we'll just wing it. And then we had the most amazing session with the entire group. And it was the one that people loved the most because we just went with it and we had fun with people and we had no notes, no agenda, no nothing. So I really believe that since then, you know, cause I was a bit of a control freak and I was put into a position where I had to be like, okay, let's just trust, 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 trust. And it worked out amazing. Yeah. Always. I, I remember the first time I did a color mirrors course and, uh, and everything you can imagine went wrong. I was so nervous. I had my first three students after Melissa qualified me. And um, I was at this little seaside town called Western Supermare in, in England. And this hell of a storm came up out of the, out of the um, sea and blew right through this hotel that the room I'd rented and um, just water came in everywhere wind gusted through, blew a window out, so we, and then we had to be relocated to another room. So there I am trying to get into my, I am and be holier than thou and kind of do my <laughs> thing. Like this wind came in and just destroyed everything. <laughs> so and it also I had to learn right from the word go, you can't control everything, you just go with the flow and you relax. And then I think my second uh, workshop, big one, happened in Scotland. And I had 14 students and I'd ordered a whole bunch of bottles to arrive to train the course. And I think I had about five or six bottles with me and the rest were on their way. I didn't even have enough bottles for everybody. And, um, and, and I got this note from the shipping company at the time saying, oh, they were in Australia. They'd gone from South Africa to Australia instead of to Scotland. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> so the first day I, I taught was with like a few bottles, you know, and I just, I had to wing it. I just had to go with it. I couldn't go according to you know, to, to the plan and the books and the manuals and the system, I had to just, just go with it. And then the second, by the second morning, the bottles arrived and it, that it was fine. It worked out very, very well. And quite a few people from that course are actually still in the Calamaris family. So yeah, it just shows you. <laughs> well, having done the many workshops with you, with Melissa, the color practitioners, now I've done it twice and the teacher's course. And like the one thing that stands out is everything is perfect mm -hmm. and i've i just live it i breathe it i adopt it sometimes i fight it a little bit but within a few minutes i'm like okay well if it's perfect it's perfect yeah. and then that releases me of any need to control anything anymore and i think when we when jen and i were doing that workshop we had just started our teaching with you our learning from you and the system and she just threw it back in my face everything is perfect i guess i forgot them on purpose and you know we just had a great time so love it love love everything about what this color uh system puts in front of us and it gives us the opportunity to question and and oh, it just makes me so happy what 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 would you say has been if you had to talk about the impact of color mirrors in your life how, how would you, would you find words for that even, I think? <laughs> oh, I, 
what is the impact? It, it's impacted every single cell in my body. It's impacted every how I speak, how I communicate, how I love, how I, um, you know, interact with people. Um, the answers are, are all here, essentially, because it's the mirror, right? So now we just talk about everything being a mirror, that, that of course I have all the answers in me. I just like how the color invites the conversation for me to investigate a little bit deeper than I normally would. You know, saying, I don't know what the problem is, going to the wall of mirror of color behind me and saying, what's my problem and picking a color. It may not hand me the answer, but it certainly asks me to ask questions that will help me get to the answer. Yeah, I love that. So every, everything, I mean, my relationship with my boys, they call me, they, I think I've graduated from the woo woo person to the uh, hippie to the witch. I think they're just calling me a witch now, which is fine. I'm cool with it. And, um, and incorporating my witchdom into the different aspects of my world now, this magazine and my design world and all of it. That's amazing. We're going to talk about your magazine a little bit later. I think what I want to do is, because um, one of the things we're obviously doing is just, just showcasing a couple of Calamaris bottles with every episode that we do. And of course, the fifth episode means we've got the fifth bottle. So I'm going to just call it up on screen. Let me just do a share screen here. I also just, sorry, before I do that, I, um, it's better if I put us in gallery view, right? Is that correct for this? I think so. Okay, I'll put us in gallery view. You see, they need still learning all about. <laughs> just, to, just for people who are watching, I just want you to know that recently, with the coming of the deck that we're working on, the shadow deck, Moira has been sending emails, informational emails, and even though I've worked on this for a couple of years, the the emails you're sending are amazing. Get on this mailing list if you can to get this information. Oh, because did you get the one today? I haven't read it yet, but uh, I'm getting uh, them. I'm loving them. There's an epic one coming today. Um, let me just, I also just want to double check that um, we've got, uh, yeah, comments. Um, Angie's watching. Lynn says number three. Yvonne, number one. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Yeah, I'm really, Michael says number one today. That's nice. Tanya says, love the colors you're wearing. Oh, Tanya, we're all in turquoise today. That's something Amy and I love is our turquoise colors because we both, <laughs> we both, we, we're both 34 7. So um, we just love all the turquoise colors. That's nice. This um, is Marsha is on, darling. Hi, Marsha. Number one, I haven't heard from you for ages. I hope you're well, girl. Um, oh, Marsha. Marsha, yeah, Marsha, 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 hi. Oh, Marsha. <laughs> Yeah, somebody we somebody in our community that we just love because she's just the sweetest person. All right, so what we're going to feature for you today is the fifth bottle, which is in the Calamari system, and number five, and it's called Mercury, and it's green, it's green and pale green, and um, and this is a bottle that I I'm not a green person, Amy. I don't know about you, but green for me is not is not not a color that I easily go to greens and yellows are kind of my no colors because I'm so blue and then I can go completely into red and violet but I'll skip the yellows and greens yeah how, how does the green sit with you can't stand them yeah I wonder this what is, this is as close to green as a top or in my wardrobe that I've got it's never been a color that I've ever resonated with uh but I'm you know obviously because we're going to be discussing what green is all about it's something I need to work on still. <laughs> well, I, 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 I remember once I traveled um, overseas and I wore green and I had um, green clothes on and I had every single person in that airport bump into me and run their trolleys over my toes. I was black and blue by the time I came out the other side <laughs> of my trip. And, and I realized that in, when you're wearing green, they literally can't see you. It, it's the people don't register this color. And, and so I, I know never to travel with green. It's just something I don't do. So here's a couple of key words for this bottle from the color mirror system. It's green relates to communication and movement. Obviously communication because you've got planet Mercury. Movement. So it's a color that can get you moving. And if you think about the green traffic light that says go, you know, go for it. You know, you can cross the road now, it's safe. Um, but it also, it also, because green relates to spaces, sometimes people, when they're drawn to green, they suddenly find they have to shift things in their spaces. They have to move their rooms around, declutter, that kind of thing. It's the heart chakra. 
Um, and this year, Mercury plays a very important role because we're actually in a five year, because if you add 2021 20, up, it comes to a five. So we're in a five green year. And um, it's, uh, it's a year to let go of masks. Is that what Mercury helps you do in the green color? It's remove masks. So I wonder if our masks are actually going to come off this year, Amy. Literally, the mask uh, will fall away now. My, my mask comes off the moment I walk out of a store. I, I'm only putting the mask on just to not cause other people to freak out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was fighting the mask thing at the beginning, but... You know, I'm not here to uh, stress anybody out. And so I'll wear it when I go into a shop. But the moment I'm out, I'm out. I, I, I maybe that's why I don't resonate with this color because I don't, I don't like masks. I don't think I hide behind a lot of masks and I don't, I just don't connect with this. Yeah. Yeah, and, and of course, you know, if you if you look at the kind of masks as a woman would wear, it'd be like, I'm so-and-so's mom, and I'm so-and-so's daughter, and yeah. I'm so-and-so's wife, you know, those are all masks we put on, and you, you kind of want to get to the core, authentic self of who you are with this bottle. Oh, yeah. I actually, if, I, if I think about it, I haven't bathed in this one in a long time, Amy. <laughs> it's suddenly, I've got it sitting here next to me, next to me, and I'm kind of going, actually, I might i might do a dip in this one just just for the heck of it <laughs> yeah um this one is often chosen when you're multitasking or changes so this is this is very often chosen by somebody who's at the same time all at once moving house changing job leaving their partner perhaps even immigrating leaving countries you know they really just revolutionizing themselves mind body spirit and soul and of course, the double green is this double space. The space is inside of you and the space is outside of you. And anyone who fills those spaces goes under review. Okay, question. Mm. I do a lot of work with people's birth colors. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times when we're looking at these colors, it's in the kind of context that we'll choose this color. Mm -hmm. Or like if we're having a reading with someone and they pick green, we can go through these. So I like to ask you each time, because I always love learning from you, when the choice is not yours, essentially, I mean, okay, the choice, but it's in your birth color. Mm -hmm. So if you are in a five year, how do these bullets sort of work out in a year? Well, is it like your whole life is going to be about... Yeah. So, so in the five year, if it's if you're in a five year, if your numbers come to a five and you're currently in 2021 doing a five year with with in a, in a five year double whammy, this means that you are going to um, really potentially face becoming authentically you. Those masks coming off, you coming through. You may have to make some. You can't sit on a fence with your decisions anymore. You may have to make some decisions around what the next part of your life is going to look like. Are you going to be single? Are you going to commit to somebody? Are you going to change your job? Are you going to start your business? I mean, those are really big things that are big decisions. It's life decisions that come in a five year. If the five is in your birthday, suddenly you're born on the fifth of the month, or your numbers total in your life path to a five, these, these are ongoing challenges throughout your entire lifetime. This is just, you're going to find that you're, you're going to have communication issues. You're going to find that it's going to be difficult to open your heart. These are things you have to master and you have a whole lifetime set aside to do that, which is really great. The lovely thing about um, um, looking at the date of birth is you, you really can go from the day I'm born to the day I die. These are things that are going to feature but what happens, you get to, you do get to a stage where you master these, uh, these things, you master your heart, you master um, finding your authentic self, you don't have any masks on you, you, you lose your fear of making decisions, you know, you, you and when you do that, that's when you become a mentor, you know, yeah. that's when you become the elder in the tribe, that's where you become the teacher, that's where you begin to use that information to then help the next batch. And what I love about color is, is then we have a second set to look at then we've got the g5 to look at you know that kind of says okay this is now what you look like on this new five dimensional planet this is really really cool because i am actually working with a client i have her appointment right at 2 30 today and she is a five and she's in a five year and so um this is what with the, our whole conversation was about the g bottles because she's already made a decision I'm retiring from one thing. I'm going into a new thing. This is my authentic self. I'm done with all the masks. And so, yeah, we had this entire conversation and now she's moving into ancient mother. 
which is oh, yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. And is of course, it's, it's all that gold wisdom that she's acquired, but not just this lifetime, but if she's mastered all these lessons in five, yeah. but also from previous lifetimes, she can access it so easily now. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, love so it. I just I like to to keep that because it there's two ways we look at color in in the birth side of things and then in just a general back and forth conversation in a reading, right? So every time we talk about readings and the the books in our uh, literature from Melissa are based on what happens when someone picks this color, what happens when someone is wearing this color, what are they talking about, what are they mirroring? And so then we get into this whole other side, which is the whole birth thing, which I love so much. Yeah, oh, the birth thing is important. And, and even the year numbers that I do in the annual predictions is important because it means that it's not just people who have a five in the date of birth and they, or their life path number. This is something that comes around periodically, you know, yeah. every decade in your life, you're going to come across five energy and you can incorporate that as well. So we all get quite a nice myriad, um, you know, <laughs> all the layers of being human, right? No, we can, I can, <laughs> oh my God, I could just talk about this. I was on the call with this lady for like two hours and I could just keep going on. I think I have a recruit. I think she's in. I've, I've sucked oh, her in. I, I know your enthusiasm for the system and numerology is just <laughs> a joy to watch. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So the color spritzer of the week is the red angel. And um, do you work with the red angel at all, Amy? Um, I actually have not no. worked with this one at all. I have the red dragon. I don't have the red angel. Let me see if anybody here is um, going to say anything. Um, um, oh, first of all, Lynn says, I've been in a tornado for the last 24 hours. I've been holding this green bottle against my heart. At first, all I noticed was how cold it was. As you respond to Amy's question, I realized that I was also feeling an incredible soothing calm if, as if the green love was soaking into me. Thank you. Oh, nice. Nice, Lynn. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, Jessica Marie says, I'm a double five as well. Ooh. Jessica, it's yeah, all green. Jessica, my love. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Moira Andrew. A fun says, ride. Yeah, Moira Andrew, shame. She she had her husband's funeral yesterday. Um, Moira, we were thinking of you. Um, and I'm so glad that you're you're coming through this and you're supporting your boys so elegantly. You're in a double five years. So again, there, you know, she's got massive life changes happening for her. Oh yeah. my goodness me. All right, um, so let's chat about the Red Angel. Um, when I first started with Color Mirrors, I had huge financial stresses, survival stresses. So I literally drank this bottle for breakfast, lunch, and supper, Amy. It, <laughs> it, it kept me sane, like you can't believe it. I had lots of back problems, pinched sciatica nerves, that kind of thing. And this bottle just used to take the pain away. It was so fantastic. So this is a bottle in Color Mirrors that relates to miracles prosperity. So it also connects you with your passion. So if you don't know... Um, what you're passionate about or you're feeling a little under energized and you can't quite get that enthusiasm up this bottle puts a fire in the right spot also reminds you of your purpose so if you're not sure what your purpose is or you feel you don't have a purpose then this red angel can communicate that um, to you in some way and as I said useful for lower back discomfort and um, it's often chosen when you need a money miracle it, it's and definitely people buy it for a 24-hour money miracle and also to boost physical energies. They're feeling really tired, lethargic, um, or they've had lots of pain and their bodies are, you know, you, you know, it's like when you're in pain, you, process, you use a lot of energy to process pain and then you get really tired. This red angel um, just gives you such a boost. You know what I'd, um, I, I remember? Yeah? I should have a bucket of this right now. <laughs> You forget this medicine chest that's I know. <laughs> we do. It's not one that I've ever picked in when I use the deck of color cards. It's not one that's ever come up for me, but certainly who couldn't use a money miracle? And right now I'm dealing with a pinched nerve in my shoulder, which is killing. And so yeah, I should probably get a bottle of that, baby. I, I tend to just spray it on my shoulders when they get sore and then um, on my back as well. But you can only get one or two spritz side upside down. So I've got to get my hubby to spritz for me. Yeah. Otherwise the bump is right. <laughs> but this is really good for healing. If you spray it on your hand, just just like that, and you just give it a little rub and then hold that over the spot where somebody's actually feeling their pain. Um, oh, it's so soothing. It's just there's, there's a little, there's a deep heat to heat sense that goes into the body and it's uh, very, very um, good. Is this got um, a cinnamon in it? Yeah. Yeah. It smells like Christmas, cinnamon and cloves. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely essence. Those are the top notes. Okay, so let's have a little chat about your United Colors of Design magazine. So that's Amy's website, by the way, guys. It's a fun website. A little, <laughs> I love her pineapples that are on her website. <laughs> I contemplated putting them up there. I thought, no, let people go find your pineapples. <laughs> United Colors of Design mag.com. And, um, and yeah, you've done a black edition. Oh, yes. Copper edition. And you've just done your third one, the red edition. So just talk us through why colors, why this magazine, how did it happen? Share well, that journey with us. Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay. So the editorial that I wrote for this month, I actually created it. it I, I typed it and it's in the magazine, but I also did a podcast because I wanted people to understand just this question like why did i do it and what happened and how it's gone through so there is a little podcast that you can hear but um when i started investigating color in the psychology of it with you and with this system uh i began to i i was initially attracted because of course i'm a designer graphic artist and i love color and all that stuff so yes i was like a little um fly to the light on that and then I liked how it was helping me work through things. And it was this graceful, beautiful way of having difficult conversations. And it wasn't the person who was diagnosing me. It was just them, me choosing the bottle. And so nobody was telling me what was wrong. Nobody was saying you're this or you're that. It was me looking at the bottle, picking the bottle, and then, um, and then seeing what was happening, what needed to change. And then as I work through the teachers and the and the practitioner and all the workshops, I'm like, how do I go from designer to spiritual teacher? Like that was such a big jump. I couldn't even wrap my head around it because all of those, you know, you're not good enough. You don't know it enough. Like I would hear Moira speak and everybody else who was in it for years and, and think, how am I ever going to get to the point that I can talk like that, like understand the bottles and just be able to help people with them and so it took me a little while to figure out how does a graphic designer go to spiritual healer and then i realized i don't need to go to spiritual healer there's a place in the middle where i can bring the color information to these creative people through this magazine and allow them to take it to the world so we can heal ourselves but imagine if you are an interior designer and you can say to a client how would you like me to create a room with your soul colors and this is what i wanted people to understand add soul colors to any one of the things that we do and automatically you have just piqued the interest and drawn people in especially at this time because we're all going through this awakening process there's a lot of newly awakened little souls on the planet and what better way to to incorporate to to help them ascend through this lesson than using color so can we create um fashion design in people's soul colors can we create artwork in their soul colors can we do their branding like i do in their soul colors every creative person has the ability to tag this on to the end of themselves and then in so doing you are giving yourself another way to, to bring business to yourself. And I love it. I mean, you just open the first page, the index on the red one, look at all that color on there. You can see the vibrancy of the red there and the variety of columnists and, you know, and, and, and just markets, different businesses that you've combined, Amy. And the common denominator of everybody, of course, is that's all just talk about our business through the lens of red and if yes. if you connect to red and this is a soul color this is this is how we can help you yes. i love that absolutely love it i mean this is honestly guys just give her lots of lots of red hearts and and for this beautiful beautiful magazine it's a joy to open it up and feast your eyes on it you know and the hard copy when you, when you have the hard copy and i've got the copper and the 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 black edition when you touch it, there's energy in it, Amy. You've done it, girl. It's you're doing spiritual work through this magazine. It's just amazing. I'm so, so happy to open this color conversation through something we already 
know and understand through our work, through our art, through our creativity. And I don't have to convince a single person that writes for this magazine or that has submitted artwork for this magazine the power of color. What I, what I am doing, though, is introducing this new conversation that we can have about color and, and bring it into our work on this little bit of a deeper level, like just how, hey, Cody. <laughs> you clapped your hands, Cody yeah. woke up and went, oh, time to move. Yes, even he's excited about red. He was fast asleep in his little new cage in my new office. <laughs> yeah, so the the we've got so many people in, in the color family that are writing for this magazine. Um, I think Sherry is listening and Anne Mc, and Sherry's doing her feng shui, which of course red is very, very auspicious in yeah. feng shui. And so this was a perfect time for her to come in and, and write about it. Um, as, as from the beginning, Anne McVeigh has done her astrology. Oh, it's been spot on. Yeah. Absolutely spot on. Cause I, I checked my whole family, all my boys, I checked their, <laughs> I checked their astrology and mine and she's been spot on every edition. She does a lot, a lot of work. Like she starts. She does a lot of research. Yeah, a lot of research, yeah. a lot of um, studying, a lot of writing, and she starts like it takes her probably the whole three months, right, Anne? Yeah, like the whole three months to do it. No, and she really. It, I mean, this is the first really big venture out there with her her astrology work. You know, leaving kind you know kind of the beauty world to go into this. Yeah. So, that was a and she's using, so she's using the colors in every one of the readings there's how you can use color to amp up her reading or her um astrology message for you and you know everyone is embracing the color system and the, and talking about it and giving us the history of it and where do these colors come from how were they physically made i know anastasia who does our hair um the colors of hair design she loves how were these colors created what did they use like soot and um and berries she does a lot of historical research and shares it with the readers yeah. i mean she's everybody amazing everybody that's writing yeah. who i did not even think would go there is writing about the psychology of color and where it's come from and its origins and history and so every single one of these people are giving you a different take you can't all study Google at the same time. So, you know, they're all giving us these little bits of information and they're all correct and they're all beautiful and they're all perfect. And so I mean, just have a look at this, that business columnist, you've got recruitment, branding, business law, wealth, mindset. I mean, money. It's like, it's just, you know, if you think about how, how are we bringing the psychology into those markets, into those, into those uh, fields, it's just, it's astonishing. Amy, I, I, I want to just say to you that I think this is the best magazine I have ever, 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 and Vogue doesn't even come close to it, that I've had, not just in terms of the content, but the layout, the design, the energy of it, the thoughtfulness behind it. It's not just a magazine to put out there. This is a magazine to heal people, to heal the world. So, I want to say congratulations. You're on your third one. And from here on, it's going to get a little bit easier. I know this one was, this was blood, oh. sweat and tears to birth this one, but it will get a lot easier for you from now on. But well done, my girl. I'm, I'm so, so immensely, immensely happy for you. Well, I think had you not lost your designer or misplaced your designer for the shadow cards had we not met had we not like none of this would happen or would have happened without me being introduced to color in this way oh and, it, it was meant to be go <laughs> yeah so i'm so excited to bring all of these people together you know and i have trouble saying no so i do have like there's 30 30 writers now um submitting columns and then we had 21 i think um people that we chose to go in to the gallery in the back so you know check out these amazing artists that are all oh, using you. red wow unbelievable the teaching is beautiful so what do you want to say to people watching us right now do you still are you still looking for more mentors columnists artists to feature in upcoming magazines i would really like somebody out there who has knowledge of the different social media platforms to uh, help our readers understand how to use them like a LinkedIn specialist, a Instagram specialist, a Facebook specialist, um, you know, TikTok specialist, like we 
the whole magazine is to support creative business owners mm -hmm. through mentorship guide guidance from people that are in the actual fields and then these beautiful um experts in their field of building business so yes we've got wealth and we've got branding and recruitment and empowerment and money and all that stuff but practically speaking i need someone who can do the social media aspect yeah because it's, it, you've got the product now you've got the system in place you've got the platform you've got all the experts now you need yeah. to reach the people you need to reach an audience and for yeah. that we need social media Okay, guys, you've got it. There's a challenge for you. Maybe you know somebody and they've got to be super good. They've got to be a top notch. Only the best for Amy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we want only the best for our readers. This is, oh. they're, they're speaking the message to our creative people. So okay. we want them to be able to use the information in the magazine to create step by step their business. And so the next issue is pink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, don't forget. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My son and I were having this conversation a couple weeks, well, in probably a couple weeks before the red came out. And he's like, Mom, you know, you should really do some Easter eggs. And to him, being a little techie guy from millennials, is an Easter egg is a thing. Um, like, not an actual literal Easter egg, but there's things called Easter eggs. They're like hidden around the internet and they take you to another place and then you find something else. It's like a little treasure hunt. But I'm not like that techie and I really just wanted to have an Easter egg hunt. So there are 10 Easter eggs just like that one that Moira circled up in the top uh, left that is that are hidden in the magazine. And so I have given you a link on page 12 to click that link and then submit your form. And I've had lots of people submit their form and you can list the 10 pages where you think the eggs are on. And then we're going to take those um, entries and on, I think it's the 22nd of, I wrote it on page 12. Anyway, look at page 12. You'll see when the draw is. And, and all of the contributors in the magazine are offering their services and their products. And so we'll do a draw um to see who who's won out of the entrance um there is one stipulation no purchase necessary but you do need to subscribe in order to participate in the draw yeah that's and it's free subscription thing. so that's nice and easy it's a free subscription yeah fantastic so and you I don't also spam have a... you. i don't spam you i don't send you a ton of emails so it's yeah. really just related to the magazine so my darling you actually now have your very first um, event coming up related relating to this new business to this new um, the new Amy way <laughs> I'm, I'm opening a gateway yeah tell us about I'm it. walking through it and so come study some color with me let's have a conversation we we are here to talk about what color does and when you combine it with the numerology you get this amazing story for mm -hmm. your clients for you and so, yes, it's free. It's just a, like a Q&A, 60-minute sort of explanation of what we're heading towards as far as this community goes and how we can start talking more about color uh, on the 22nd of uh, April. And um, we'll be talking to designers, creatives of all kinds. How to add soul to your business. And you also have got a free birthday reading for two participants on the webinar. So... Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. And um, Amy, will you pop into the link your calendar? Because I know it was a long calendar link, so I didn't put it on the slide, but you need to put it into the feed for us of the show so people can click on it to go and, and book themselves for the webinar. Okay. And if anybody doesn't know, um, you know, or loses or you're kind of losing, just please go to Amy Bell's um, um, Facebook, drop her a Facebook message and ask her for the link to calendar. Okay so that you can get onto this webinar because then then you can talk to Amy exclusively around um, how important colors and numbers have been for her she's going to explain that to you and how, how useful knowing your soul colors is so if you love colors you love numerology you love design you love being creative you've got to go on this webinar it it's going to be fun oh thank you Amy all right so um let's do switch gears a little bit here um then this is this is Amy and us, by the way, on Saturday at one o'clock. We were in a three-hour meeting, 
And this was us working, still working through fine tuning the colors and the energy of the um, shadow deck. And um, because we want to make sure when it gets to the printer that, you know, that everything is 100% is feels right. And it was so interesting as we were working through, you know, we were looking at the color card, we were looking at the, the how the, the, the test batch printed out versus the color we wanted versus the color mirrors bottle that it relates to. And, um, and we kept tweaking the colors and, but it, and it wasn't about the color looking right. It was about that color feeling right. That was extraordinary, wasn't it? Yeah. So this is what we did recently. So this is just, just so that you know, we are, uh, we're, we're, we're done. The cards are done now. The colors are, are tweaked. <laughs> what is, you know what, Moira? It is so fun working with you because, oh my God. If you are a graphic artist, I have to say that when your client needs to feel the color, it is a stab in the dark. I was just tweaking the color and waiting for the, oh my God, that's awesome. That's, <laughs> that was my, my, my hint at, okay, we've got something here. And I couldn't use my color books. I couldn't use, you know, the, the anything that would give me the actual mixes of the color to say, here, Moira, this is what rose gold looks like because she didn't care what it looked like. She cared what it felt like. And so I was just tweaking and I would stop and, you know, hold my breath. And when I got the hell yeah, then I knew we were good. Yeah, and it was just a case of holding the bottle and then you get a feeling of it, you know, through the bottle. So it was a great, so thank you for this. Um, Amy, and for being the most amazing graphic designer, I don't think anybody else would have put up with me. So, <laughs> no, now we All know right. that the energy of the deck is perfect. <laughs> so, um, I'm putting this one up because prior to us coming on the call, I asked you out of the 44 cards because you had mentioned before how you have, and when we did the webinar for the Shadow Deck and Course. You mentioned that how in the two years that you designed the deck, you had to process every one of those 44 patterns. They came up and you had to work through them. But <laughs> the one that has given you the biggest, <laughs> the biggest um, hickey, shall we say, <laughs> is this one. Why? <laughs> this is the one you immediately said, no, this is the one was like, no, 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 no. didn't like it at all. It gave me the biggest, biggest okay. problem or issue. <laughs> it did not show itself as the most irritating until I was done and you were, well, we're not a hundred percent done, but almost done. Um, and, and I was listening in on the call on the, the information show you did a couple weeks ago about the shadow deck mm -hmm. and truth be told, my love and I were just having a little bit of a tiff at the time. And as you were talking about it, I'm like, why am I sitting with this deck? and I'm not using it to figure out what's going on. So I picked it. And 25 is my birthday, like the day I'm born on. So that was significant. And we always love to look for um, synchronicities or, or little things that are interesting. And the resistance card came up. Huh. And I was being resistant to what he was asking me to do. And so I had to look at it. And I said, listen, Brian, if this card and this conversation can change what we're having a discussion about, you may want to buy a hundred decks and sell them to all of your, your guy friends, <laughs> because <laughs> what we, we were having a conversation about something that was really important and really um, like make or break kind of conversation. And so inviting the deck into my world and pulling this card and really just taking a deep breath and going, what am I resisting? It's it's changed my mind completely. But I mean, if you look at that one sentence in the book, this is just a paragraph from the booklet. Your breakthrough opportunity is that exact is that exact moment when you become aware of the change that you're resisting. So you know, if you think about why resistance turns up, um, it's because there's there's something else coming up. You know, there's um, there's change, and our bodies don't like to change. No, they do not. It puts me in like I was fearful. I was fearful of the ripple effect of of um, leaning into this change that he wanted me to make. I was worried about all kinds of stuff that could ha that could go wrong. Right. And so. Um, did you I, end up saying yes? <laughs> I did. I ended up saying yes. And I also <laughs> have to remember that 
if I'm going to work with this system, I have to walk the talk of the system, which is everything is perfect. And so again, I surrender to that and it's, and so it is. Yeah, wonderful. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. If anybody else has a draw to this card, <laughs> sorry <laughs> for you, but say yes instead of no and see what happens. It'll break it and get you through the resistance. <laughs> yeah, the resistance was interesting. Talk of resistance. So um, while we were working on the deck this weekend, um, just finalizing um, the last of the color shades that needed, a couple of the cards needed editing, I... Um, I wrote an email actually out, um, you haven't seen it yet, Amy, I was sent it out this morning, just explaining to people who are in my community, who are part of my, who bought on my shop, who are on my academy, and, and people who've now recently purchased the deck and, and the, the course, just to explain how this happened. But the gist of it is, the short gist of it is that um, I, I did the webinar, and on the webinar, somebody said, hey, you know, um, which bottles do I use to work with this deck? And I said, well, there's a list. And as I said it, the back of my head and the back of my heart, I had this niggling little, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure that list yet, something's missing. So I, I kind of, because I had to carry on talking on the webinar with the presentation, I parked it and just going, okay, show me later on what this missing feeling is. And um, so when, um, um, then after the webinar, I had some people say, hey, I loved your webinar and I love the way you, how you explain about shadow work and, and, but I'm still really scared of what it can do to me as, you know, people are speaking about it as if it can harm them in some way and there's a lot of fear around it. So I did SOS Melissa and I said, Melissa, we need a bottle to support these people and, and to support working with the deck to kind of lift it and add a little bit of extra light. She immediately said, it's a milk bottle. I said, yes, it is. It's pearl. It's white pearl, it's, and, and that was it. And then she came up with a white pearl bottle, and it just was just the most delicious, solid white bottle that I have been looking for for the longest time. And immediately, those were the words that came up with it. And the word inevitable was the, the, the shining moment. It was inevitable that this bottle um, it, it was burst. And, um, and then that day, I was riding clouds. I was very, very happy. I felt bright. I felt light. I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I thought, great. Now, people that don't have to fear the shadow, we can go out and we can do this thing. Well, I woke that night. I had nightmares. I had all the worst dreams in, in the world um, I was having. I was dreaming of the volcanoes erupting and the earthquakes and, and you know, just so much stuff going on. And um, I woke up completely exhausted and burnt out. Like I'd, I'd run a marathon that night. And um, and then you and I that day, that was now um, Saturday, when we got together for our three-hour meeting to go through the last of the cards. Remember, we I hit the black and it didn't feel right. We kept we we had to tweak the black. And yeah. um, and then and then I realized, you know, it's not a black, it's not a black card. The black hole is not a black card, it's a black pearl. And so I had to go tell between my legs back to Melissa, because Melissa is not someone who will just make bottles randomly, okay? She has to feel it. It has to be a real a real um, uh, energy burst. And, um, and, and she went and made the black pearl. I think if anybody can have a close look, if you look at the face there and the wings, there's a little... There's just a little image in there that um, you can interpret any way you like. <laughs> um, I know what it means for me, but... Uh, yeah, she made this one and um, we played with a couple of the words that came up and this was this was about really facing your dark side and uh, to 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 access the light because this is using your light as a commodity. I loved I love the way she wrote about it there. But then we realized this is yin and yang, which is in the beginning of the booklet in the shadow deck, which we've got the yin and yang symbol actually in the book. And we talk about what it means to work with gargoyles and what it means to work with light and dark and shadows so um yeah now we have a yin and yang, yin and yang bottle so <laughs> you they didn't know so about the black pearl you didn't know about the black pearl till now amy you didn't realize no that. i did not they look beautiful together i love the shimmeriness oh my god they look so pretty when i did the teacher's course um you allow us to create our own bottle and not that i went with either of these colors but i did go with the pearly shimmery kind of texture in my bottle so i love that i love those two together They're gorgeous but you know what happens whenever um new bottles are born from years and years of being with a system with melissa we know that we always get confirmation the universe always gives us 
um, a sign to say, we've watched what you're doing and you got it right. So um, this morning, um, a day after the pearl was born, Melissa was going for lunch with a friend and decided to go into a cupboard where she'd stored some wine that had been there for years, took a box out. And um, when she pulled the bottle out, this is what she saw. <laughs> Black oyster catcher, white pearl. I don't even know how you could get those two things together on one I bottle. I know, I know. She just like, what the freak? <laughs> That was our conversation. We're like, okay, so we got this one right, yeah. Yes. So just so people can us. order. Are you going to talk yeah. about ordering those bottles? Because they're so pretty. I yes. think people. Yes. Yeah. I sent an email out to everybody that has bought the course on the deck to let them know that I'm ordering it and that they can buy it from me and um, yeah, that they can support them if they're interested. Um, they're going to put in a clear angel for the white pearl and a black dragon for the black pearl because I haven't, they so quick, it's just happened. I haven't got photos. I haven't even put them on the shop yet. So we're going to be doing that. So I have also, because the sudden burst of energy that's come from these pearls, I've decided to extend from the 12th of April, the deadline to Friday. So we've got till Friday to kind of get your deck um, um, in order, um, get your deck ordered at the $44. And um you can go to my website, moirabush.com and just look for shadow cards. It's there. And then also the course, the same thing, right? I've extended to 16th of April. Um, you get a 25% discount on it. And um, I know that in America, just to mention this, anybody watching America, you've had some problems ordering because some states have just recently changed tax laws where you, you end up paying double tax. Please, I'm trying to sort that out with the uh, Teachable platform to figure out what we can do about that. Um, don't pay double tax don't um, I will not let you lose your special you just need to speak with me send me an email or a message um, upcoming color mirrors events so um, I've got two events coming up that I just want to share this is a regular feature that I would like to do for um, anybody who is working with the color mirror system I have a five-month mentoring program for color mirrors practitioners starting tomorrow um, we meet once a month um, in a group format and we have one-to-one -one sessions um, once a month as well. So there's a little, um, those details are on my academy. And I also have now opened registrations on my academy for the next 25-week Color Mirrors Practitioner Program. For a lot of people are waiting for that. And there are payment plan options, please. If you scroll down to the bottom, um, um, when you hit on the link for the Practitioner Program, you'll see that there are options. And um, I will get you, I will need you to register obviously two months before or a month before so we can get you some bottles. Then the other event is the one by Amy. We've just been talking about the webinar, which is uh, going to be an introduction to color, color mirrors and numerology for artists, designers and creatives. And then there is another event happening with Melissa Jolly, the founder of Color Mirrors and Amanda Bradbury, who is the is literally our resident astrologer. You see her posts that she puts up in the, in the Color Mirrors group, Amy, on astrology. She writes the most beautiful, easy to understand um, um, information about astrology. And um, they have got a color and astrology. They called it Anchoring Magic. It's three two-hour online workshops. And you can go to amanda at amandabradbury.com, amanda at amandabradbury.com for details to register the payment and all of that. This is this is something that the first, the first was it the first year I was with Color Mirrors? The second year I was with Color Mirrors. Um, and Amanda, myself and Melissa got together and we actually went to Scotland and we did in England and we we presented color and astrology courses and they were absolutely phenomenal. It's the first time I understood astrology. When I could see it through the lens of color, it made sense. Whereas before it was just goobly gob nonsense. You know, you know, when you're dyslexic and you look at a page and the numbers jump all over the place. Um, Amanda made sense of astrology through color. And absolutely, if anybody, if you ever want to get anything, by the way, she has agreed to come on the show. She's going to be a color chat um, guest uh, in a couple of weeks time. And then Karani Connolly, who was on last week, she started her Earth Series webinar and she, some of them are actually still live and the ones that are already completed, you can purchase the recording. Please go to karani.net and have a look at her, um, at her, how she's connecting you to gold, silver, platinum and copper. They're absolutely beautiful. And then next week, my darlings, oh, you're going to want to put this in your schedule. You do not want to miss meeting this incredible soul. Ray McKim. He is just the most beautiful soul um, 
um, in Calamaris. He has a business called Green Therapy and Training in Ireland. And um, he, he, he works as a professional psychotherapist with Calamaris. I mean, he has combined the system and he takes color to work his patients through psychotherapy. You're gonna to want to meet him. He is incredible. He's just written a paper on color mirrors and submitted it and has been part of it. It's been published in a book for um, a university. So, you know, this is this is kind of where we can, Amy and I can talk about colors and numbers in quite a fluffy way. Whereas when Ray comes on, it's gonna be quite scientific. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna challenge my little gray cells, that's for sure. But you don't want to miss this. It's gonna be absolutely, absolutely incredible. So let me get us back here, Amy. Um, I'm hoping that by now everybody has chosen their one, two, and threes. <laughs> Which number were you drawn to, Amy? One, two, or three? Two. Two. Okay. Shall we give everybody a reading? But hang on, before I do that, I did have a um, question here from somebody. Lynn said, what might it mean that my bottle is now clear? That could be the red one, Lynn. I'm assuming the red one. Uh, <clears throat> and because it was during the time when we were talking about the red angel. So I'm thinking it's the red, but you need to confirm it for me and then I can give you an answer later. Jessica Marie, I'm new to the bottles. What's in them? Ooh. <laughs> I can tell you, uh, Jessica, I can tell you what's in them physically. It's um, it's purified um, um, water, it's um, um, essential oils, essences, and, and literally they are, it's very simple ingredients, very natural ingredients, and they are infused with color. They're infused with, that's vegetable food coloring. They're infused with crystal energy, sound therapy, um, Hoa, Pono, Pono. I mean, the list is endless what Melissa actually puts in them. And they just, you know, they just become these bottles of magic that just, um, you know, that it's, they're not a product. They, they're just, they're ingredients that make magic, that come together, that make an, an energy, energy captured in a bottle, literally. That's what it is. Fabulous. I think those were the only two questions that I found there. Let me just have a look. And says, happy to be doing astrology for this amazing magazine. Um, Constance, uh, she's from the Netherlands, loves your magazine and so much inspi inspiration and beauty. Um, there we go. Let me just see. Everyone's saying fabulous magazine. You're getting lots of compliments on that. Oh, my goodness me. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Just amazing. They just love your magazine, Amy. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Oh, Melissa's on. Jessica, magic. <laughs> Melissa answered Jessica's question too. Magic. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's it. Right. You know, it's the magic that just, it just captured me. Okay, I'm going to switch cameras, my darling, and I'm going to see if I can uh, show you your bottle pick for the week. There we go. So those yep. who number one, you have got Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon is a is a fairly new um, new bottle. It only came through last year. Um, it was not part of the Dragon's original in Calamaris. So, Amy, what would you say people can get from the Coral Dragon? Are you familiar with it? Oh, Cody. You know, I'm not familiar with a lot of the spritzers. I have focused a lot on the oils. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't want to answer this one about Coral. <laughs> Okay. Well, <laughs> it's kind of the partner to the gold dragon and the gold dragon is the one that moves mountains when things get stuck and but it's a very masculine energy so what the coral dragon is it's that softer coral feminine because you know coral's got pink and yellow in it so it has a softer energy to it so it kind of says it, it will kind of magically uh, whisk away the boulders whisk away the boulders in your path you know the the the, the, the obstacles that you're feeling so I think for anybody who's uh, picked number one for the week um, consider visualizing a coral dragon just just it's like almost like it's just melting away any obstacles in your path so these things that feel insurmountable or things that are not working for you just visualize the dragon melting it for you I'm hoping that that makes sense <laughs> come on sweetie Little Cody getting in on the action here. So those of you who picked number two, you picked Sandolphin. And Sandolphin is an archangel and he's the twin to Metatron. Now, this one feels, 
I have a personal relationship with this angel because I talk to him a lot, actually, because Metatron is a big deal for me, right? But Sandolphin, every now and again, he comes in and he kind of, and he does kind of, he's like a loitering kind of, and he really does wear sandals on his feet. And he kind of looks like this beach bum kind of, but really beautiful um, surfer dude, beach bum kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know, kind of, uh, he's going to lifesaver kind of thing. He always brings up that image for me of the, of the sea. And, um, and I feel, and he, but he's so practical, you know, he comes with that energy of what do you need to build? What do you need to do? What, what, what equipment do you need? What resources do you need? Let me, let me put it together for you. So anybody in week two, in this week who's pick number two, you, you think about calling in Archangel Sandolphin to help you pull together the resources you need to make something, to construct something, to start a project, to get moving with things. Didn't you pick two, Amy? Mm-hmm. Uh, are you not having problems loading the red issue on Amazon? So many, so many. Get, get, get Sandolphin to do it. Hand it over to him. Okay. Hand it over to Sandolphin. Let him sort out that glitch for you, okay? Yes. This, you just go, here you are. You go do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and those in number three, you have got, what have I got here? Oh, the dolphin, right. So it's the dolphin that's come up. For those of you in number three, it's very simple. This week, you need to find time to play. You need time to splash in the waves. You need time to be carefree. You need time to be stress-free. You know, Blue can often comes up and say, you're getting a little bit too stressed. You're getting too worried about things and you need to chill a little bit. So dolphins are always that, for me, that energy, they represent that energy of playfulness. And even if you have a, a schedule and you've got things you have to turn up for, find playfulness within the things that you are doing. I'm, I hope that that makes sense. And um, for those of you, pick number three. I oh. want to play. <laughs> you want to play? Nah, you've got work to do. Sandolphin says he'll help you though. Make it nice and light. But you can have you, you're the guest. You can have all three of them if you want, Amy. Put it, put a dragon on it, an angel on it, and a dolphin. <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm looking at comments. Melissa is so funny. Thank you for being with me on the spritzer bottles, Melissa. Um, she likes the oils. Oh. Uh, Sand Dolphin is a 20 foot surfer dude. <laughs> He's huge. <laughs> <laughs> well, who doesn't want a 20 foot surfer dude on your side? So yes, please help me get this magazine loaded onto Amazon. I apologize to everyone. I've had so many people saying, when can I get the physical copy? When can I? I... The process this month this issue has been just so hard like you have to upload it and then they take their sweet time telling you that something might have been wrong and they don't tell you that everything is wrong at once they drip the wrongness to you over the course of 12 days and so uh, huh. problem solving in pieces not in mass yeah, yeah. but i mean uh, so 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 change your mind about this i mean just go that if there's if it's happening in dribs and drabs it means more people are having contact with this magazine in the amazon offices so the healing is, is filtering through to the staff at Amazon. <laughs> so it, you it, it see, you see people, this is why I love talking to Moira because she just releases everything and it makes me so happy. Yes, of course, other people in the Amazon office need the healing properties of this magazine. Of course, that's why we're having so much trouble. Okay, I would like everyone who needed the healing to be done with needing the healing and allow me to just get it out so more people can have it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> love it. Love it. I love it. I love you. I, I have something for that too, but I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, thank you so much, my darling, for coming on today's show. And, and thank you for letting me do it today later and fitting in. And everybody watching, thank you for, for supporting us and being here a day later as well. Um, you did an extraordinary, extraordinary job on this deck. I'm so, so happy that you came in and saved the day and, and saved the project, literally, Amy. Thank you for that. And if you haven't yet got your deck and if you haven't yet got your course, please, um, on my website, there is a section telling you about it. There's a free webinar you can look at. It's all there. And don't forget to sign up for Amy's webinar and connect with her deeper, get to know her um, and as I do, and you'll, you'll be so glad you've gone to her webinar. I don't know. I don't know if people would be glad. Anyway, we'll oh, just yes, have some they fun. Will. 
<laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk about on that webinar. I'm taking lead from Melissa and from Moira and from Kar uh, uh, Karani. <laughs> Everybody is like, just say you'll do it. And then it'll be downloaded and the perfect words will come out. So fingers crossed. I have absorbed some of the wisdom from all of you and, and it'll be a good free time. We'll have some fun. Talk about color. <laughs> Fabulous, Amy. Thank you so much, my darling. Enjoy your week. And for all our viewers, enjoy your week. Enjoy your colors, um, your coral dragon, sand dolphin, and um, dolphin, <laughs> sand dolphin, and dolphin, all ocean theme. And, um, and please remember that next week we've got Ray McKim on. You do not want to miss that. That is, um, I was beside myself excited. with joy when he said he wanted to be on the show. Yeah. Nice. Thank you so much. I love much. you all so much. Thank Bye. you. <laughs>